In today's video, I was sent an insane package to open for you guys. What's up guys, we're back with another bright shirt video. In this video, I have a package from Ty. Ty hit me up and he said, hey man, I have these items and I want you to open them for me. They're really cool. Before we get into the opening, he sent us a giveaway. He also has a note, so I'm gonna read this, see what he said. Hello Ruxin, thank you for this opportunity. I think this could be really fun. I agree, it should be fun. With the 25th anniversary round around the corner and the legendary collections on the way, I thought it would be cool to do something related to that as a giveaway. So, so enclosed with the tens, they're tens, yeah, they are. Are two bubble mailers. One is something for you. The other one is all six promo cards of Legendary Collection. One for your giveaway. Fingers crossed for some of the best pulls. Tie. All right, here we go. So he said uh, Legendary Collection one promos. Is that what he said? Let me look. Let me look. Wait, this feels. Oh, okay. They're in top loaders. I, I was like, wait, why are they so thick? So all these promos will be part of the giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know in the comments that you appreciate Ty and what you think about what he sent us. Here we go. He also sent something for me. So uh, I don't know what this is, but we're about to find out what is it for Ruxin, the Ruxin package. Here we go, I'm excited. Excited to see what it is, Ruxin package. It feels like it's in bubble wrap in here. Okay, got a little cardboard going on, nice packaging. All right, so is that HelloFresh? We got a HelloFresh ad going on here? All right, oh, whoa, whoa. Ruxin, Labyrinth of Nightmare. This must be European, yeah, for Europe. You could tell from the crimps. A European Labyrinth of Nightmare pack? Dude, you are insane. You definitely did not have to send something this nice. This is like crazy nice. So that's definitely going to be opened in a video at some point. So Ty, thank you so much for that. That's exciting, dude. I wasn't expecting that. And now the moment you've been waiting for, you saw they were tins. They're good ones. We have Giafried, the Iron Knight. So apparently he got these and they were like not in great shape. And he's like, you know what? Let's send them to Rux and open up, which I was like, heck yeah, let's do this. So Giafried, the Iron Knight. Hopefully there's some nice promos in these. You guys can guess what's coming next. Jinzo. So both Joey tents from 2003. We have the Jinzo tin, which we've had crazy luck with this Jinzo tin. We once pulled a test print out of one of them. And then finally, if that wasn't good enough, we have a Dark Magician tin from 2003. These will all be opened up in this video. Th this is going to be an insane video. So sit back, relax, enjoy it. And three tins. It's not going to be too short either. So let's just go ahead and open it up. We're going to start with Gear Free, the Iron Knight. We're going to do a little battle. We're going to see his Gear Free, Jinzo, or Dark Magician, the best tin. We're going to have totals up on the screen. Let's get into it. All right, Ty, let's see we can get you i don't think i've opened all three of these tens in the same video since i opened all of the 2003 tens in one video which if you have not seen that go check it out or just check out the opening every playlist where i've opening every 2003 2002 2004 2005 2006 2007 2013 at the time of seeing this uh, every pack ever made twice you know there's a lot of good stuff in that playlist that's the good stuff okay what we're really hoping for in these 2003 tens the promos are on the bottom there's no sleeve or anything so they usually get scuffed up but if they're not it's really rare. So let's see if we can grab one that's in good condition. It looks like there is a little bit of scuffing going there, but it doesn't look too bad to be honest, but there is a little bit going on in the middle there. It's not like a PSA 10, but honestly pretty nice condition still for the gear free just in general compared to like what these usually look like. And I say this pretty much every time, but you could look in the back there and you could see that's why there's like stuff right there. You just gonna the, the car just gotta go ch -ch -ch and just get damaged. All right, let's get into the Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. I want to remind people who are watching this video that none of these cards are for sale because these are not my cards. These are Ty's cards. Sometimes when I open stuff for other people, I get a lot of messages like, "Hey, can I buy that?" I'm like, "No, it's not. It's not mine or whatever." So just want to remind you guys if you're watching, these are not gonna be for sale for me. These are Ty's cards. Two, three, four. He just sent them to me for an awesome or an awesome opening, not a giveaway, <laughs> not a giveaway. Okay, Fairy Guardian, which is pretty exciting. It's pretty awesome. So I. I love Love opening like this old stuff and so if people want me to open up for them it's always great so i'm buyer of the dark we have akibio drakmorn and i know that people love when people do this because then they get to watch it so fairy box we've got earl of demise this gentlemanly creature is extremely wicked feared by man and fiend alike he'd love to see it soul of purity and light and a destruction punch we're starting off with just a rare in the first one let's see i mean what do you guys think let me know in the comments which tin will be the best i mean now like joey's already pulled a rare so it's like you're kind of like uh but we're adding in the uh promo values as well so this is probably gonna be the lowest value promo so gear free's got the highest hill to climb at this point we need to appreciate these while we get to open them since he said legendary collection you know 25th anniversary is coming out but you gotta appreciate these old ones with that red kanami banner which is you know the 2003 thing it started there and it lasted for a few years until they made the new one uh Okay, well, that kind of ripped a little bit. I'm gonna try and keep these pretty nice because some people like to keep these packs. So I'm gonna send them back to Ty. Hopefully, you know, if he doesn't want them, he doesn't have to keep them, but try to keep them nice for him. We have a burning land. The land is burning. Weevil Underwood, Dark Fire Soldier, also burning. Bite Shoes, the All Seeing White Tigre. Oh, yeah, very nice. Infinite Dismissal, 
Bubonic Vermin. We've got the seven completed. Enchanted Javelin. The appropriate, just a regular rare. We're starting off with a couple of trap rares here. Three packs to go. So far, Giffrey the Iron Knight hadn't done much. So we're just going to kind of hope that we can turn that around. All it takes is one pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Will it be a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? It's out of a tin, so I'm pretty sure you can't get that. But I still am not totally sure. I think that you can get the, the Hobby Ultimate or Secret Rares, not Ultimates. Red Archery Girl. We got the Labyrinth Wall. Hey! Labyrinth Wall support coming out in the next set. Maze of Memories. You could use my code down below. Maze Ruxin or whatever it's called. There's also Gate Guardian support, which I'm actually really excited about. Liquid Beast. We have House of Adhesive Tape. Ryu Ran. And a Nimble Babonga. The card from the Sacred Beast deck that everybody was mad about. <laughs> All right. Two packs to go in the Gia Free tin. We have Metal Raiders. Can we pull some Gate Guardian stuff? Hey. Sui Jin Kazi Jin. Maybe, maybe they'll go up because of the Gate Guardian support. Who knows? Maybe we could pull, uh, probably not the regular Gate Guardian. I think he's a hobby, so it's probably going to be Thousand Dragon if we do pull something, which is pretty cool. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Musician King. Protector of the Throne. Jirai Gumo. German Faction. Ancient Lizard Warrior. Seven Colored Fish. Killer Needle. Not a lot of, like, really awesome comments in there because there's some good ones in Metal Raiders, but not terrible. And Witch's Apprentice. Gear Free is starting off with a dud. You guys know how these 2003 10s can go if you remember my every 2003 video. It was an interesting one. It was up and down, that's for sure. All right, final 2003 Gear Free the Iron Knight 10 pack. A little bit of a fat pack. No body shaving going on here, but here we go. Blue Eyes White Dragon could be inside. Not quite original, but 2003, which is, I mean, it's close enough. It's basically original. One, two, three, four. They basically look exactly the same. We have an M Warrior Numero Uno. Mountain. Mystical Moon. The Moon of the Mystics. We have Dark King of the Abyss. Remove Trap. Steel Ogre Grotto Numero Uno. Monster Egg. The Egg of the Monster. Numi Ruko, will we get a foil out of this tin? Come on! Grave Digger Gold! No! Oh my goodness, just a rare. All right, Gear Freed, uh, probably not winning the battle. If they do, then this is going to be a rough opening. But don't worry, Jinzo's coming up next to save the day. First of all, Jinzo promo is going to be beautiful. Let's get this out of here. We got to get something good for Ty because right now we have started off slow. 0 oh, for 5 on packs. That can happen. Jinzo 10. I love opening these old 10s. There's nothing better and more nostalgic than these 10s because these were the things everybody could afford. You know, 20 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever. Get a few packs, get a promo. This and the starter decks was what everybody was going for. Let's hope the Jinzo is in nice condition. Here we go. Ooh, I see a mark. I see a mark. Let's see. Oh, it's honestly pretty nice, actually. I mean, there, there's that right there. But honestly, like this is pretty close to near mint. Both of them honestly have been pretty good. Secret Rare looks really nice. Jinzo, I mean, that's just such a beautiful card. Wow, it's weird that they have this as a Secret Rare in the tin and in the set, but it's still really cool. Jinzo, Secret Rare, not bad. At least it's not in horrible condition. I've seen some really bad ones from my openings. All right, four more packs. Here we go, Jinzo 10. Probably already just beat out the Gear Free 10 with just the promo value. <laughs> So that's kind of funny. Uh, just the promo has put it ahead of the Gear Freed. So I don't know. I don't even think we pulled a good common in the Gear Freed 10. So it's time to turn around right now. Pull something good. One, two, three, four. We're going to do it. We're going to pull something awesome like a secret rare. The Dark Door. We got Dream Sprite. Let's get a Necro. Wait, what's he called? I'm going to say Necro Face. That's not right. Dark Necro Fear. There we go. We could get, uh, you know, the end of, no, not the end of a new. Now I'm getting them all mixed up. The last word from another planet. There we go. Headless Knight. Lady Panther. We got Grand Tiki Elda. Pure Mermaid, a uh, spirit message, L, no, not like this, not the L, please, no, don't do it to Ty like that, no, Ty, you've seen a ghost, the ghost of the L, alright guys, this is disastrous so far, we're over six, we saw the ghost of the L, this is not good, we need to pull something, Pharaoh's servant, this is your chance to turn this around, this video can be salvaged, and I'm not talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh card. One, two, three, four. You just got to bring it back. Here we go. We have Dark Bat. All right. That's a very nostalgic card for me. I must add a lot of Pharaoh Servant. Insect Imitation. We got Attack and Receive. World Suppression. Dark Fire Soldier Numero Uno. Metal Detector. We have Flying Kamakiri Numero Dos. A Three-Headed Agito. Is it next? Magic Drain. Maybe it's draining the L. Wait, 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 wait. 
it drains the L, maybe we have a chance on the next pack. Maybe that saved us. Just gotta be optimistic, guys. Three packs to go in this tin. Magic Ruler, this says magic, but the, uh, the magic cards actually say spell, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can see right there. This is when they were in the middle of changing. So we got MRL, Magic Ruler with Spell Card. I say that pretty much every time we do 2003, but it's very unique. Like this is the only thing that's, that's like that. So very interesting. That's an, an Ultra Ruxin Special. So we have Ruxin Special where I skip one, Super Ruxin Special I skip two or more. If I just go right to the rare on accident, that's an Ultra Ruxin Special that has been named. We've ruined the Magic Ruler pack. What else did we get? Wait, we need to go through this. We have Queen Bird, Whiptail, Permanence of Sword, Giant Turtle, Course of Sanctuary, Mechanical Snail, Slot. Oh, the, bro the brother and his little brother were in there. We ruined it. No, Heels and Rue. One of my favorite cards to say because I used to always say it wrong when I opened Magic Ruler. Two packs to go. We are officially 0 for 8. This is a rough start. Ty, we got to get something for you, man. We got to get something. It's going to be out of Metal Raiders. It's going to be a Pequeno Moth, okay? It's going to be perfect. Pequeno Moth will save the day. Kaminari Attack used to be like a $7 card. Okay, one, two, three, four. No more Ultra Rucks and Specials. Lava Battle Guard. Okay. Joey and Tristan. We got Mornfin. Stim Pack. Not terrible. I told you the Pequeno Pekin Moth? <laughs> the Pequeno Moth would save the day. The small but deadly insect is better off avoid. It says creature, but not insect, but it's an insect. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to avoid it. We want it to show up. Kaminari attack. That's a good sign for this pack. Gigatech Wolf. Come on. Soggy the Dark Clown. We have Dome and the Angel of Silence. And Princess of Ah! Oh, we've been beaten and battered. We're 0 for 9. Come on, you gotta give us something. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, I believe in you. We gotta do this for Ty. We can't let him go home empty-handed. We're gonna send him home with a Blue Eyes White Dragon. If you guys remember the last time we struggled to pull a foil, what happened in the LOB pack? So, maybe it'll happen. Lesser Dragon, let's go. M Warrior Numero Uno. Mountain. Violet Crystal. Cool, Violet. Remove Trap. We have Steel Ogre Grotto Numero Uno. Monster Egg. Numi Rico. I always say that one wrong. Is it next? <laughs> Why? I don't know what they did in 2003 with their tins, but for some reason, 2003 is the most stingy tins with us. We always pull 0 for 5 tins. It's crazy. So, one more hope. It's the Dark Magician tin. The classic, the legendary Dark Magician. I'm getting nervous. We can, Come on. 0 for 10. We can't possibly go for 15. Come on. Maybe we'll get a minty promo. Maybe that'll happen. We got an amazing promo. Let's do this. All right. Come on, promo. Good start to a promo is... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the worst condition one yet. Why does this card feel really thick for some reason? Oh, that's a nice secret rare. That looks really good. Okay. The card looks good. I mean, it's got some scuffing. It's not terrible. That's how... Yeah, look at this. You can see on the back of this one, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, and not not great, but still beautiful secret. Rare. It still looks minty on the front, which is what matters. Just put it in the sleeve, it's all good. That's just how it goes. Beautiful card. In terms of the battle, I think Jinzo is probably still winning. It's probably worth more than the 2003 Dark Magician. I don't actually know, but that's what that's okay because we're gonna pull a foil right now, starting with Labyrinth of Nightmare. <sighs> Come on, Labyrinth of Nightmare. You got to do this. You got to turn this video around. We have Jam Defender, the Emperor's Holiday. The gross ghost of Flood Dreams. He's gross and he's a ghost. Lady of Salem of Flames. Fire Sorcerer. Curse of the Mass Beast. I would love the Mass Beast. That's a great one as well. Biomage, come on, foil. Aqua Spirit, here we go. Will it be our first foil? Oh no, it's pure messaging. It's not an L. It's not an L. It's not an L. But it feels like an L. All right, four packs left. Pharaoh Servant. Oh, Pharaoh's Servant. Come on, Pharaoh's Servant. I believe you can do it. I don't have any doubts. I believe you can do it, man. Pharaoh's Servant is the servant, baby. It's going to make it happen. One, two. That's got a little ding on the top. That's unfortunate. Two, three, four. That's okay. It's not the foil which, because there is a foil in here. The All-Seeing White Tigre. The Ground Collapse. Light of Intervention. Steel Ogre Grotto. Flame Champion. Respect Play. Come on, Garuchin Kuwagata. Souls of the Forgotten, come on, this has to be it. The 12th pack of the opening. Let's go! I am so tired. How is this possible? No! Oh my gosh, there's only three packs left in the opening. Come on. Come on. Come on. This this is rough, guys. This is rough. Send some luck in the comments right now. We need luck in the comments. Ty needs it big time. One, two, three, four. Come on, we need a foil right here. Please! 
13th back, Gravekeeper Servant. Anything at this point, but Ultra Rare would be great. Let's go. Whiptail Crow. We have Performance of the Sword. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Come on. We have Metal Fish. It's the fish, and he's metal. Horn of Light. Sonic Bird for those ritual decks out there. Taiho Numero Dos. And we have, come on, a Giant Trunade. It's a foil, finally. And it's a great super rare. It's one of the best cards in this set. Giant Trunade is insane. Thank goodness. I mean, it's not an ultra rare, but thank goodness we got a foil. That was rough. All right, we got that monkey off our back. Now we can just pull the best cards in the set. Here we go. We have Metal Raiders up next. We're saving Legend of Blue Eyes for last. Let's get Ty at least one more foil. Come on, two foils. I mean, it's still not great, but it's better than like one or zero, especially better than zero. We already got a Pequeno Moth, so it's a good start on the Metal Raiders. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have a... Sword of Deep Seated. Giltia, the D Knight. He's very cool and he's the Knight of the D. We have Niwatori. What does that mean in Japanese again? Can't remember. We have an Electric Lazard. Ancient Elf. Ancient Elf. Fear that. Oh, wait, no. Kojikaze. We have a Dragon Piper. Very weird card if you look at it. That looks like a mouth, but then there's like an eye up there. It's like, it's very strange artwork. German Faction and our final chance on the Metal Raiders pack. So we were 0 for 2 so far. Let's go. the puppy dog our final pack come on if we could end with an epic card it would be great any foil out of legend of blue eyes is amazing basically even like a piece of exodia would be awesome you know any of the supers are pretty good like flame swordsman would be awesome obviously blue eyes my dragon dark magician red eyes all that stuff would be crazy one two three four come on <sighs> let's go terror the terrible dark gray he's gray and dark turtle tiger we've got hard armor wasteland larvis Basic Insecto, Ray into Batura, and we have one more card. Come on for a tie. Oh, it's always the Fusionist, man. Oh my gosh, a Fusionist. Come on, dude. All right, Ty, you sent me this pack. You went one for 15. I want to open this up. We're going to send this back to you. Hopefully, we'll get a foil for you because one for 15 is rough. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to send your gift back to you, but I'm also going to open it. So, <laughs> you know, it's going to be fun. Here we go. We're going to do one more pack because that was a rough opening. This is, an, this is a European pack. One, two, three, four. I assume they do the same pack. I probably should do three. Just I'm going to do four. Here we go. Deal of Phantom. Come on, let's get something good for Ty from the pack that he sent us. The Dark Door. Akibio Drakmord. Spirit Elimination. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Feel definitely different as European, you know, cards. St. Joan. I think she has more orange hair in this. Interesting. The Portress Secret. Very creepy. Reminds me of Harry Potter and, you know, the talking things on the wall. We have Hysteric Fairy. And finally, will there be a foil? Come on. Marie, the following one is just not meant to be today. The shifted name, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this was a rough day for opening, but Ty, thank you so much for sending me these because this was a really, really fun opening to do. Hopefully we have better luck in the future. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DeAnda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Ty Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.